learn the basics of rebar, bar bending schedule, BBS, and concepts of rebar bending and cutting processes. Reinforcement is one of the most expensive item on a construction project. It is approximately 15 to 20 percent of a civil construction costs. With increasing cost of steel, it has also become necessary to have proper cutting arrangements to minimize the wastage of steel. Wastage control Scrape from the bar cutting can be reused at some places, spacer bar, lugs for insert plate, an angle, chairs, extra bars, U-shaped bars in wall. Scrape from the bar cutting can be reused as extra bar and cut out reinforcement. Scrape from the bar cutting can be reused as U-shaped bars in wall. Bar bending schedule is popularly known as BBS. It helps in proper planning and reduction in wastage and scrap formation. It also helps the fitters get exact cutting length of steel required for each member and mistakes made by fitters can be avoided. Typically, there are few hundred shapes and sizes of rebar members on a project. BBS helps in organizing and helps in quality checks. BBS also helps in cost effectiveness during quality checks. In some typical project, reinforcement shapes and sizes can vary to few hundreds. Planning and wastage reduction is very important, which helps in cost effectiveness during quality checks, but it is most tedious and time consuming. Here, a sample sheet of bar bending schedule table is shown. A typical reinforcement labeling. Here, reinforcement labeling for stirrups is shown. Four legged, 15 to 8 at 150, where 4 stands for number of legged, 15 stands for number of bars, toss stands for type of steel as HYSD, TMT, 8 stands for diameter of bar, 150 stands for spacing. Some points consideration while bending the bars. Ensure that the cutting area is near to the working site, so that handling will be easier. Now, it is done on bar bending machine. Ensure the diameter of the bars is as per drawings. Verify the cutting length considering bend elongation so there will be no shortage in bar length after bending. Equation for find out the cutting length of bending bar is 2 into A plus 2 times diameter of stirrups bar plus P plus 2 times diameter of stirrups bar plus 2 numbers of hooks minus 3 numbers of 90 degrees bends minus 2 numbers of 135 degrees bends. Here some important cut length issues is discuss. If cutting length is short, stirrups will not fit properly and it will lead to increase in cover or decrease in effective depth. If length is more, stirrups will be installed in skewed manner, resulting in congestion of reinforcement. Bar bending is traditionally done on a thea. Fitters use different tools as per diameter of bars. In recent times, it is done using a mechanical bar bending machine. One can follow the steps of particular job of bar bending, cutting and placing. For footing, bars should be cut in L shapes. After deducting the side cover, and jali can be made from that bars. Cut L shaped bars, for columns also. Cut the bars of respective diameter, for rings of columns considering proper length. Rings then prepared, from cut bars considering the width, and breadth of column after deducting covers prepared footing jali, then placed to the position, after matching the center of column, by maintaining bottom, and side covers. Beam. Verify the bottom bars, bent up bars, and top bars along with ring details as per given drawing. Preferably actual dimensions should be taken, after shuttering for the bar cutting. Cutting should be done beam wise. Tie a chit of paper, for easy identification of the bunch. Then cutting should be done, 
and rings should be prepared. Beam should be bound on solid platform along with bent up bars and shifted to the shuttering of the slab by providing proper cover. For continuous beams, bent up bars should be properly extended and tied by binding wire. Slab Cutting should be done according to the cutting length of the bar of slab. Consider the projected length of bars in continuous beam while bar cutting. The cutting bars should be stored and transferred to the respected slab in bunch wise. Center to center distance should be mark on the shuttering plate of the slab with chalk or marker. Place the main reinforcement as per marking and above that place distribution steel by tying every junction. Bars should be bent according to slab thickness and refers to drawing and chairs should be laced at every bend. Hidden beam should place according to center line of beam matches that of the wall.